<laughs> All righty. Cash strap states are looking for ways to balance their budget, and some are cutting wages and pension benefits of public employees. But union leaders, well, they're beginning to fight back. They're holding public rallies to improve state worker images. But will it work? Vincent Fernuccio of the Competitive Enterprise Institute joins the company now. All right, uh, so the unions are fighting back. To, they're doing this PR thing, uh, trying to make themselves look better. What do you think? Well, yeah, I think they're trying to do what they uh, couldn't do at the ballot box. Remember, um, the unions, especially AFSCME, was the largest outside spender of the last election. They're trying to do at the ballot box what uh, or they're trying to do with good old-fashioned rabble-rousing what they couldn't do at the ballot box. So that's what you saw in Ohio, this, uh, this quote-unquote protest over the weekend. You know, uh, it's interesting because uh, uh, the unions now, you know, trying to make their image better. But I got to tell you, they took one heck of a hit here in New York uh, by not plowing the streets and, and deliberately. You know, one guy was caught in his truck sleeping. Uh, do you do you overcome that? I mean, you would need the best political, uh, the best PR minds Madison Avenue has ever known to overcome things like that. <laughs> Well, Charles, I tell you, I owe you a mea culpa. Last time I was on, we were talking about the New York City snow issue, and I wanted to give the unifit, unif, uh, unions the benefit of the doubt. But I tell you, you were right. You were right on. They have blood in their hands. I mean, they let people die because they did not plow the streets. It was ridiculous. But going back to, going back to Ohio, uh, essentially what the unions want, and the, re the main reason for this protest, is because they want to be allowed to unionize independent contractors that are daycare workers and home health care workers. Think of the mom down the street that watches a couple kids. They want her to pay union dues. Well, you know, uh, you know th that's a part of this whole thing. And, of course... They, again, they still have a friend in the White House who I'm sure they're still trying to figure out ways, to, creative ways to craft uh, things like card check and things like that. So maybe they're taking a reverse way of going about it. Maybe they'll try from a, a grassroots level, the local level, instead of it coming from down on high. Do you think that could be a shift in strategy? I think it's absolutely a shift in strategy. Um, and what you're seeing, you're seeing especially now with the UAW teaming up with uh, Jesse Jackson, starting to say that foreign auto manufacturers that aren't unionized are human rights violators. They're going to be spending tens of millions of dollars to demonize foreign auto manufacturers. And mark, mark my words, in the next couple months, you're going to see that the foreign auto companies are going to become demonized in this country because the unions are trying to strong arm them. You know, it's interesting you said that. I saw Al Sharpton on TV yesterday, too, defending uh, school teacher unions and, and Randy uh, Weingarten. And I thought that was amazing. You know, I mean, there's, there's no way any black leaders should be defending school teachers. Not all of them, but the school teachers union, to me, it, that, that was outrageous. So now they're turning it into a civil rights issue. They're turning it into an right. anti-American issue. They're taking every angle on this thing possible, huh? They're doing whatever they can because they know that the latest Rasmussen poll has the unfavorability rating of unions increased by 8%. It's now 45 favorable, 45 unfavorable. They are, uh, excuse me, the public unions. They are seeing that the public unions are taking an absolute hit and private unions are taking another hit with the public. So they're doing anything they can and they are desperate and that's why they're going to be spending millions. They're going to be taking every angle. They're going to be calling it a human rights issue. They're going to be calling it a civil rights issue. You just watch out. All right, Vincent, thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Sure thing. Thank you. Well, China might be building up its